And Rolly too, Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we Hello, Bob the Builder here. We're going on site today to see a really exciting building being built. A skyscraper. Bob, look! Hello, Rolly. Oh, hi, everyone. Look at the birdie's nest, Bob. It's so high. <coughs> it's very high up, Rolly. But a skyscraper is even higher up than that. And we're going to learn how it's built. Here we go, Rolly. My computer. Bob's recorded lots of really interesting short films on it. They tell us everything we need to know about how skyscrapers are built. Now, I wonder what these pieces of paper are. And what do you think these builders are doing? I see. The pieces of paper are plans. Plans are special drawings that show you how to build a building. And these plans are for a skyscraper. Look at all those windows going all the way up. This is going to be a very tall skyscraper. Plans have to be drawn very carefully, so the builders who look at them can see everything they'll need to do. The builders take the plans with them on site. That way, whenever they want to know something about the building, they can look at the plans and find out. They even carry the plans around with them, so they're always nearby. This builder's checking something on the plans. And this builder's using them to work something out as well. Whatever the builders need to know about what they're building, it's all in the plans. The plans are really important, aren't they, Bob? Yes, they are, Rolly. Let's go on site and find out what machines we need. Do you know who this machine is? It's Scoot. He's good at digging. And who's digging with him? It's Muck. Scoop and Muck are the best diggers on my team. They're really good at digging. They lift out lots of earth with their shovels. And here are some other diggers on site. They've got big shovels too. There's a lot of earth to be dug out when you build a skyscraper, so you need a lot of digging machines. Just look at all that earth in the digger's shovel. And there goes some more. Diggers are the best at digging and dumping. And here's Benny. He's good at digging and lifting and building too. Look at this digging machine. It's got special wheels called caterpillar tracks. They help it drive and dig in all sorts of difficult to reach places. It's very useful on site. Builders need all sorts of different diggers. And when they all dig together, the job gets done really quickly. Who's this? It's Dizzy. Dizzy is a concrete mixer. Concrete starts out runny, like this. But when it dries, it turns as hard as stone. Then you can build on it. Here's another concrete pourer. Look at all that concrete pouring down this big slide. This concrete pourer is pumping its concrete all the way up into the air through this special pipe. The concrete comes out really fast and the builders can squirt it wherever they need it. Now, who's this? It's Lofty. Lofty's a crane and cranes are very useful on all sorts of building jobs, especially if you're building something as tall as a skyscraper. 
If you're working on a tall building, you have to lift things high into the air. And a crane is the best machine for that. These are called tower cranes because they stand high in the air like towers. And look, when you're up in the tower crane, you can see the whole city. Tower cranes are very useful when you're building a skyscraper because they can lift things so high in the air. Here's a skyscraper being built, and here are two tower cranes helping to build it. Hello, little birds. Have you come to find out how to build your nests as high as a skyscraper? You've come to the right place then, little birds. Let's find out exactly how a skyscraper is built. There are three main stages to building a skyscraper. First stage, the foundation. Second stage, build it high. Third stage, lifts. Hello, little truck. Is there a job for you today? I'm not sure, but don't worry. I'll think of something. Stage one. The foundation. The foundation is a big, strong block of concrete for the skyscraper to stand on. First of all, you dig a big hole. Next, you pour in lots of concrete. Hello, little truck. You'd like to help with the concrete pouring. But I've already got my big concrete pouring machines working on that little truck. I'll think of something for you to do soon. Time for the second stage. Build it high. The skyscraper is built one floor at a time. Up and up it goes. There we are. We've built it high. Hello, little truck. You'd like to help with the roof, but we've just put it on. I really will think of something soon, I promise. Stage three, lifts. If you build a tall building like a skyscraper, you have to work out how the people who use it can reach all the different floors. They can use the stairs, but if they're going to reach the very top floor, it takes them a long time to get to it. That's why you need to build a lift system. Lifts are metal boxes that move up and down between the different floors of a skyscraper. There we are. The third stage is done. Ah, I've thought of something for you to do, little truck. When a big important building like a skyscraper's finished, someone has to say well done to everyone who built it and tell everyone who wants to use it that it's time to go in. That's your job today, little truck. To open the skyscraper. Hurry up, then. So, that's how you build a skyscraper. Interesting, isn't it, birdies? Let's go on site and see the first stage of the skyscraper build. Can you remember what it is? That's right, the foundation. Here's a really big digger. Remember, the first job when you build a foundation is to dig a big hole. And that's what this digger is doing. The digger digs the earth out. It puts the earth in the back of the truck. And when it's full, the truck takes the earth away. Here's another digger. It's clearing away lots of old bits of concrete that nobody needs anymore. And here's another digger. It's dumping sand in a big pile and driving off to get some more. Here's a hole that's been dug already. This truck has picked up lots of sand to be put at the bottom of the hole, ready for concrete to be poured on top. In it goes. This builder is pounding down the sand with a kanga hammer. It squashes the sand so that it's really hard and flat. Here comes some more sand. That special digger with the caterpillar tracks is delivering it. The kanga hammer bounces up and down. It's called a kanga hammer because it's a bit like a kangaroo. 
Kangaroos bounce up and down, and so does this hammer. The builder has to be very careful when he's using this hammer. It's very powerful. Here are the tower cranes. They work high up in the sky. Look, they can see the whole foundation underneath them. The cranes are lowering something down to the builders. I wonder what it is. I see. It's a big bundle of special metal rods. These rods are called rebars. The builders lay them on top of the foundation just before they pour in the concrete. That way, the foundation is made out of concrete and metal. So it's very, very strong. The metal bars have to be put together, just like a big, giant jigsaw puzzle. The builders melt the ends with a special flame torch. That way, different pieces of rebar can be stuck together. You need a very big foundation for a skyscraper, so the builders have to put together lots of metal bars. There, the rebar building is all done. We saw this concrete pourer before. It pumps concrete up through this pipe, then down again. The builders pour concrete all over the metal bars, filling in all the spaces between them. They make sure it spreads everywhere. They don't want to leave any gaps. They use shovels to move it around so it fills in all the corners. When they've poured out all the concrete they need, it's time to smooth it out so it's completely flat. That way, it's really easy to build on. They smooth it out with trowels and special machines. So, that's how you build the foundation for a skyscraper. It takes lots of builders to do it, doesn't it? Here they are, pouring concrete. They pour it and smooth it out. Then they pour it and smooth it out some more. And they keep on pouring it and smoothing it out until the foundation is all finished. That was amazing! That's only the first stage, Rolly. The second stage is build it high. Here are some skyscrapers in the middle of being built. They're halfway up to the sky. And here are the builders who are building the skyscrapers. The builders use these metal bars to build the foundation, remember? And they're going to use them to build the rest of the skyscraper too. Up they go. The metal bars are going to be a really strong support. A support is something that holds something else up. A skyscraper needs lots of supports. The builder is tying the metal bars together. He's making them into a really big support to hold up a really big skyscraper. Look at this support. It's enormous. The tower crane helps the builders build high into the sky. And here's the concrete pourer again. It pours concrete in between the metal bars so that the support is made out of metal and concrete. That means it's very, very strong indeed. When the builders have finished, they've built the next level of the skyscraper. And after that, they'll start building another level on top of that one. That's how they build their skyscraper higher and higher into the sky. This builder is on his way up to the next level of the skyscraper. It's a long way up. Look at all those stairs he has to climb. And here are some more pieces of metal. These are made out of a very strong kind of metal called steel. They're called steel joists. They help make the skyscraper even stronger. The crane has to work hard to lift them. And it's lifting up lots of other things too. All sorts of different loads. It lifts them all the way up to the builders working at the top of the skyscraper.
This is where the builder sits, high up in the crane. He has to make sure the heavy loads are lifted up and down in exactly the right place. Like these special platforms. Look, here's a little bird who's come to see what a skyscraper is like. Maybe he wants to build a nest in it. This builder is working very high up and he's wearing a special safety harness. It's just in case he slips. The harness will stop him falling. All the builders wear harnesses when they're working high up. That way, they'll always be safe. The builders are working on the inside of the skyscraper now. They're going to turn it into somewhere really nice for people to live and work in. They're going to build walls and floors and ceilings. The builders use lots of metal. Here's a builder cutting a piece of metal in half with a special saw called an angle grinder. Look at all those sparks. It's cut and ready to be used. These builders are starting work on a ceiling. And they start work on the walls too. Look, the walls are almost done now. And here are the windows. The builders have to put this big piece of glass in very carefully. In it goes. It takes a lot of builders to build a skyscraper. There are so many different jobs to do. But when they're finished, they'll have built a whole skyscraper. It's one of the biggest building jobs ever. It's not just you birds who go up high in the sky, birdies. Buildings do too. Yes, and now we're going to see more skyscrapers being built. And in a very different way. <laughs> children are going to build their own skyscrapers. It's not safe for children to go on site with all of the big machines and heavy concrete, but they can build one out of building blocks. Up the skyscraper goes. Build it high, really high, high enough to touch the sky. Oops! <laughs> I wonder how the children can make their building block skyscraper stand up. That's a good idea, but all the blocks together, that makes the skyscraper really strong. Up the skyscraper goes. It looks a lot stronger than the last one, doesn't it? That's because it's not just tall, it's wide too. Look, it's staying up and it's really tall. Here's another way to build a skyscraper. When you buy things from the shops, sometimes they come in cardboard boxes like these. They're really good for building skyscrapers. Up goes the skyscraper. Isn't it tall? What are the children doing now? I see they're drawing windows, lots of windows, just like on a real skyscraper. This girl is drawing a door. That's another skyscraper, all finished. Here's a really big cardboard box. It makes a really good skyscraper too. It needs some windows and doors though. Finished. Well done. And this skyscraper's big enough for everyone. Bye. <laughs> Those children were amazing, weren't they, birdies? Birdies? I'm sure that they'll be back soon, Roly. I'll help you look for them. But first, let's see the third stage of building a skyscraper. Lifts. Skyscrapers are very tall. 
The builders who are working on this skyscraper have made themselves a special lift that goes up and down outside of it. It takes them all the way to the top. There we are. Now the builders can start work. They're building another lift for all the people who will live and work in the skyscraper. But this one's going to go up and down inside. First, the builders build the lift shaft. It's a long tunnel going up, just the right size for a lift to fit inside. It goes from the bottom of the skyscraper right up to the top, so the lift can go from the bottom to the top too. The shaft is made from lots of pieces of metal and concrete all put together. Look, that piece looks just the right size for a lift. The crane lowers all the different pieces carefully into place. Everything has to be fitted together in exactly the right way, so the lift can run up and down the shaft really smoothly. Lots and lots of builders all work together to make sure the job's done properly. It looks like this piece is almost in the right place now. There it goes. This is the inside of the shaft when it's finished. Look at all the different pieces of metal all bolted together. And here's the plan. You need a plan to build a skyscraper and you need one to build a lift too. The builders are checking it to make sure everything's just right. The builders are putting together the special machinery that will pull the lift up and down inside the shaft. Inside these pipes are lots and lots of wires carrying electricity. Electricity is the power that makes the lift work. The wires need to be put together in exactly the right way or the lift won't work properly. Only the builders are allowed to use the controls for the lift. That's why they're locked away. The builders are building the lift car now. The lift car is the box you ride in when you go up and down inside the shaft. These are the walls for the lift car. The builders are bolting them carefully together. And here's the ceiling. All those wires on top are for the lights. You need lights inside a lift car or it would be all dark. The builders fix the ceiling into place. The ceiling has to be screwed tightly on so it doesn't fall down. These builders are working on top of the lift car. They're attaching a very strong steel rope called a cable to it. The steel cable will move the lift car up and down inside the shaft. The lift car's ready now. Time for the builders to test it out. And up it goes. the way to the top of the skyscraper. These weights pull the lift up. Here it comes. And back down again. All sorts of different bits and pieces have to work properly for the lift to go up and down. The builders have to check everything is just right. The builders have finished their test now. The lift definitely works. And so does the one next to it. Birdies! They're missing out on all this amazing stuff about the skyscrapers! Don't worry, we'll tell them about it later. Here's another film. It's those amazing children again. <laughs> They're going to build a lift. Here's a shoe box. If you buy shoes from a shoe shop, they come inside a box like this. It's just the right size for some shoes. Look! But these children aren't going to use it for putting shoes in. They're going to turn it into a lift. A grown-up has used some scissors to make two holes in the top of the box. Here's some string. 
She's threading it through the holes. You have to do this very carefully. And when the string is through the holes, it's time to tie a knot. This girl is very good at tying knots, but you can ask a grown-up to help you if you like. There, the lift is all ready. Next, the children are going to paint the lift. They're using silver paint to make the lift look like it's made out of metal. This lift is going to look really shiny. There, the paint's dry and the lift's finished. Now it's time to test it out. I wonder who's going to use the lift first. Oh, hello, Mr. Bear. What floor would you like to go to? Up to the table floor. All right, then. The lift is just the right size for you. Door closing. Ready to go up, Mr. Bear? Here we go. Well done, Mr. Bear. You've reached the table floor. What an amazing shoebox lift. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Rolly? Where are they, Bob? Ah, I can hear them, but I can't see them. Rock and roll! Look, Bob, a skyscraper nest. Brilliant birds. It's time for one more film. Look at these skyscrapers. They're all finished, a whole city of them. Each one has lots of different floors, so lots and lots of people can live and work in them. These skyscrapers are very beautiful. Some are tall and straight, others are tall and curved. Some have beautiful patterns in them. Here's an interesting skyscraper. It's almost completely made of glass. So that's what skyscrapers look like from the outside when they're finished. But what about the inside? Let's take a look. Here's someone who works in a skyscraper. He's using a lift to go to another floor. Maybe he's going to visit one of his friends who works there too. Different people work in different parts of the skyscraper. That's why they need lifts, to take them up and down. Some skyscrapers have hundreds and hundreds of people working inside them. And skyscrapers are so big that there's room inside for everyone. They really are the biggest buildings ever. You know, Rolly, I think we could do a reminder of everything we've learnt today. You bet, Bob. Let's hit it! On site, on site, let's go on site. We're building, we're building all day long. On site, on site, oh yeah, all right! We build our buildings big and strong. We build it tall, we build it high. A big skyscraper in the sky. But first of all, we dig a hole and pour in concrete. Rock and roll! On site, let's go on site. We build, we build, we build again. With concrete, steel, a tower crane. Way up we go, we never stop. Until we reach the very top. On site, let's go on site. So now we're finished, now we're done. Oh, come inside now, everyone. Yeah, come inside, go up and down. The tallest building in the town. On site, on site, let's go on site. We're building, we're building all day long. On site, on site, oh yeah, all right. We build our buildings big and strong. So, next time you see a really tall building, You'll know all about how it's built, won't you? Thanks for coming on site with me. And if you want to see how some completely different buildings are built, keep watching. See you soon! <laughs>
Bob the Builder here. We're going to learn about a really amazing building. It's a car park. Oh! Look at these rabbits, Bob, hopping in and out of their burrows. Oh, it'd be good if machines had burrows too, wouldn't it, Bob? All cosy. You know, machines do have burrows. Sort of. Look, your garage. That's like a burrow for machines. Oh, yeah! Really cosy. A car park is like a garage, but even bigger. That's your laptop computer, isn't it, Bob? It has lots of very interesting short films on it. Are we going to see one about a car park, Bob? Yes, we are, Lofty. Let's have a look. Here's a car park when it's all finished. Isn't it big and tall? And here's what it looks like inside. There's lots of room for all the cars to drive about and find somewhere to park. All sorts of cars park in car parks. And trucks too, like this one. Cars have to drive very slowly when they're inside the car park. That's because there are lots of other cars nearby and they need to be careful not to bump into them. This is the way out of the car park. The cars can't just drive straight out. Their drivers have to hand a machine a special ticket. The ticket says how long they've been in the car park and tells the machine that they've paid some money for parking there. When the machines check the ticket, it lifts up a little gate and the car drives away. Rock and roll! That was amazing! Let's have a look at the machines that build a car park now. Here's Muck. And here's Scoop. Muck and Scoop are diggers, and diggers are really useful for building car parks. Here's another digger. It's dug up a great big shovel of earth, and now it's carrying it away and dumping it down. This digger is pulling up concrete. It has to be really strong to do that. And this digger is carrying away more earth. It's taking it to where it's needed. Here's Rolly. He's a steamroller. He can roll the ground really flat. Here's another steamroller. It really is rolling the earth flat too. And here's another machine that flattens the ground. It's called a grader. Look at all those scoops going round and round. They scoop the earth away. All sorts of different machines work together when you build a car park, doing all sorts of different jobs. Here's Tumbler, and here's Dizzy. They're pouring concrete. You need a lot of concrete if you're building a car park. Here's another concrete pourer. Look at all that concrete pouring down the slide. This concrete pourer pumps concrete up into the air through this special pipe and then pumps it all the way down again. That way, the concrete comes out really fast. The concrete pours out and the builders can spread it anywhere they want. These builders are using the concrete to make a car park. Here's Lofty. He's a crane. Cranes are very useful if you're building a car park. They're really good at lifting big, heavy things that a builder couldn't lift on his own. Here's another sort of crane. It's called a cherry picker. It lifts up that little platform on the end of its crane. What do you think the little platform is for? It's for a builder to stand in. The cherry picker lifts the builder up so that he can work really high. And here's one more crane. Cranes are good at carrying things. This one is carrying a special machine used for smoothing concrete. The builders need it, and so the crane is carrying it to them. What a useful machine! Come on, Bob! Where's the next short film? There are three main stages to building a car park. First stage, foundation. Second stage, lots of levels. Third stage, ramps. Right then, let's get started. Oh, hello, little truck. Come to help. There's lots for you to do today. 
Um... It's cars and trucks like you who are going to use the car park. You should be in charge of building it too. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the first stage, the foundation. Mm -hmm. That's a big, strong base for the car park to stand on. Mm -hmm. Now, what machines do we need for building a foundation, little truck? Mm -hmm. Yes, diggers. The diggers dig a big hole. Once the hole's dug, we fill it with... Concrete! Well done, little truck. You fetched Tumba the concrete pourer. When the concrete's set, it's really hard. We're ready to begin the second stage now. Lots of levels. Well done, little truck. You've brought along a tower crane. Some car parks need lots of levels because lots of cars want to park in it. Look at all those levels. That's the second stage done. Now, the third stage, ramps. <laughs> yes, little truck, ramps. That's how all the cars travel up and down inside the car park, on ramps. To build concrete ramps, we need concrete. Look at all those ramps. There we are. Foundation, lots of levels, ramps. It's all done. Our car park is ready to use. Well done, little truck. Oh, little truck. All that being in charge has worn you out. Don't worry, little truck. I've just got one more job for you to do. I'd like you to test the car park out, please. A car park is where trucks or cars go to have a rest. And you certainly need a rest, little truck, after all the work you've done today. Get testing, little truck. And get resting. Let's go on site and see another car park being built now. Can you remember the first stage? That's right, foundations. We've built a lot of foundations. I wonder what sort of building this foundation could be for. It's a big rectangle, look. I remember, it's the foundation for my mobile home. It's a rectangular shape too. And I wonder what sort of building this foundation is for. Look, it's a summer house. That's a building you can sit outside in during the summer to enjoy your garden. And what about this one? It's a square shape, so it must be for a square-shaped building. Hmm. It's my house! The special house I built when I first came to Sunflower Valley. And I wonder what this foundation is for. It's very big. It's a very special curved shape. is pouring concrete. Oh, look! It's a skate park for everyone to skate about on. Let's go on site and see some more foundations. We're going to see some builders and their machines build the foundation for a car park. These are the plans. They tell everyone exactly what to do. Once everyone knows what the plans say, the diggers start digging a big hole for the foundation. Look at all that earth. Everything that's dug up is tipped into trucks, then the trucks drive it away. Here comes a grader. Do you remember what this machine does? It flattens out earth. And this grader is going to flatten out the earth that's left at the bottom of the hole so that it's really smooth. It does this by scooping the loose earth away with these metal blades. The earth that's left behind is really flat and smooth, with no bumps or hills left in it. And here's another machine that flattens earth. It's a steamroller. It squashes the earth down so it's hard. 
machines work together. They make the earth really flat, so it's all ready to have a foundation built on top of it. Once the earth's ready, the builders ask a concrete pourer to come and help them. It drives up in exactly the right place and then pours in the concrete. Concrete is a mixture of rocks, water and special sand. This pourer is a special crane to pump the concrete up in the air so it comes down really fast and the builders can spread it out. Here comes the concrete. The builders pour it on top of these metal bars so that when it turns hard, it'll have the metal bars inside. That way, the foundation will be even stronger. Once all the concrete's been poured, the builders smooth it out with special machines. The foundation has to be really smooth so that a car park can be built on top of it. All the builders work together until the foundation is really smooth. They even use special flat trowels to smooth out any rough bits. So, that's how you build a foundation for a car park. It's a big job and you need lots of builders and machines to do it. But if everyone works together, it gets done really quickly and the first stage of building a car park is done. The foundation already. Rock and roll! <laughs> Now, here's another car park. It's a bit different. Here are some children and they're going to build a car park. They're going to use this big piece of card and pens too. I wonder what they're going to do. They're drawing lines on it. Lots of lines. Do you know what the lines are for? I see. The lines mark out the places where the cars are supposed to park. Each car needs its own place called a parking bay. The parking bays are all marked out now. And here come the cars who want to park in them. There's a lot of them. I hope there's going to be enough space for everyone. Everyone park themselves, please. Really carefully. There's a purple car parking. And here's a yellow camper van and a yellow car too. What's that? It's got big wheels. Look, there's a concrete pourer. And an ambulance. A yellow truck. And another one with big wheels. Last one. There's enough space for all of them. Well done, everyone. What a brilliant car park. <laughs> Those children were really, really clever. They were, weren't they? Let's go on site and see the second stage of building a car park. Lots of levels. Here are some more plans. These plans show the builders how to build lots of levels. You can see all the levels drawn out. There are lots of them, aren't there? And here they are when they're all built. Let's find out how the builders built them with all their useful machines. Here we are on site. The builders use this machine to help build these big steel towers. Look at all of them. There are lots of them, aren't there? First, the towers are made from steel bars. But the next stage is to put these big pieces of steel around them. They're called shutters. Why do you think the builders are putting them on? This builder's being lifted so that he can work really high. He's going to bolt on the shutters right up to the top of the tower. And this builder is climbing right up one of the towers all by himself. He's bolting on the shutters too. All these towers have shutters around them. But why? Ah, that's 
That's what the shutters are for. Once the shutters are bolted really tightly all around the tower, the builders pour concrete inside. They fill up the whole tower with concrete. The concrete's pumped along this crane. It comes all the way up from this concrete pourer. The builders fill up all the different towers with wet, sloppy concrete. After they've finished, they wait, and the wet concrete inside the shutters turns hard. And that means when they take the shutters away, the tower is made out of concrete. But there are lots and lots of towers all around the car park. The builders have to build every one by filling them up with concrete. The towers are all finished now, and the builders are working on the places between them. They're building the walls of the car park. The walls of the car park are built out of a lot of different materials. There are these steel bars, and this builder is cutting up a special big brick called a breeze block. But most importantly of all, a car park wall is built with more concrete. This time, the builders aren't just filling up towers with sloppy concrete, they're filling up a whole wall. Here are the builders filling up the wall with concrete. It takes a very long time. It's a very big wall. Here's a wall all finished. The sloppy concrete has turned hard. The builder is using a special machine to smooth it out. What a big wall for a big car park. Those builders really have built this car park high. Look at all the different levels. Each one is for lots and lots of cars. Here's the top. And here comes a car, testing the car park out. Well done, everyone. That's the next stage. Lots of levels, all finished. Look, the other machine garage. That's right, Rolly. Do you remember how we built this garage, team? I've built lots of different garages and shelters with my team. The first one was a shelter built into the side of a hill. Scoop dug a hole in a hill. And Muck and Lofty collected rocks. When the hole was ready, I used all the rocks to build the shelter walls. Rolly smoothed out the ground and Scoop dug holes for the support beams. Support beams hold a shelter up, like this. Next, we put on a roof. I used pieces of wood and special tarpaulin to keep the water out, but there was something special about this roof. I covered it with earth and rolled out some grass onto it too. It was a grass roof. And that meant our friend the goat could nibble the grass while all my machines slept underneath. It was a brilliant shelter for everyone. <laughs> Next, I built a garage. Muck and Scoop dug out the foundation and Dizzy poured in the concrete. Then we put up the supports. They were made of steel this time, not wood. Wendy and I had to cut the steel with a special cutter. Everything had to be just the right length. Once everything was ready, Wendy and I put it all together. Lofty lifted in the pieces of floor for the top level. Scoop lifted up the walls. We bolted everything together and then we built the most important thing of all. A ramp, so that my machines could drive to the top of the garage and back down again. After that, all we had to do was put the different coloured doors in. A different colour for each machine. Red for Muck, blue for Lofty, 
yellow for scoop and green for rolly. But what about all my other machines? They needed a garage too. I built this one the same way, with steel supports. The roof was very curvy though. Lofty lifted everything into place. And it was just in time, because it started to rain. But everyone was really cosy, even our friend, Mr Beasley. Time to go back on site to see the next stage of the car park that's being built. Ramps! Look at this enormous ramp, all finished. Lots of cars must be able to drive up and down it. Let's go on site and see how it was built. What's going on here? Looks like we're in a big hole. Look, lots of diggers. And they're piling up lots and lots of earth into a big hill. It's not a hill, it's a ramp. Look, it's low at one end and high at the other. It takes a lot of earth to build a ramp, especially one that's as big as this. diggers have finished piling up the earth, the builders cover it with concrete. Here they are, spreading it all out. You can really see the shape of the ramp now. It's high at one end and low at the other. When it's finished, cars will be able to drive up and down it really easily. The concrete is poured over steel bars so that when it's dry, the ramp will be really strong. It needs to be strong if lots of cars are going to drive up and down on it. This builder is using a spade to make sure the concrete is in exactly the right place. He wants every single bit of this ramp to be covered. Here comes a crane. What's it carrying? It's a concrete smoothing machine. The machine has a big metal circle with a handle on it. Here are the builders using it. They slide the big metal circle over the concrete to smooth it out. The ramp has to be really smooth because cars are going to drive up and down it. They don't want to bump up and down, they want a smooth ride, so the ramp has to be smooth too. The builders finish off the smoothing themselves without machines. Instead, they use their special flat trowels. It's a really big job making sure every bit of this enormous ramp is perfectly smooth. This builder is wearing special knee pads. They make sure he doesn't sink into the soft concrete while he's smoothing it out with his trowel. The ramp's nearly all smoothed out now. Now the builders have to leave it to dry so that it's really hard. And now it's time for the next stage. A digger pours gravel all over the hard, smooth ramp. That's because it's time to build a good road surface on top so that cars can drive on it really easily. The digger spreads the gravel out so that it's really smooth too. And then a steamroller rolls it out so that it's really flat. It squashes the gravel down too so that it's hard. The builders build a road surface on top and the ramp's ready. Here's the ramp all finished and we're driving down it. Hold on tight, everyone. <laughs> Do you have little ramps in your burrows, little rabbits? No, we don't need them because we don't have wheels. <laughs> Quick, everyone, 
It's another film with the children. I wonder what these children are going to build. Hello, everyone. Hmm. Two pieces of wood and a box. What could they be for? I see the children have built two ramps, one leading up to the box and one leading down. Now the children can drive their toy cars up onto the box and down again. Whee! Oh, that was really fast. Here comes a big truck. The ramps will have to be really strong. It looks heavy. Oh dear, that thin ramp isn't strong enough. I wonder what the children are going to do about that. That looks better. Thick pieces of wood will be much stronger. They won't bend under the truck. What's this? The ramp isn't bending, but the truck can't go up it. That's because the ramp is too steep. These pieces of wood are just as strong, but they're much longer, and so the ramps the children build with them should be much more gradual. That means instead of sloping up really quickly, they slope up very slowly. Here comes a truck. And it goes up the ramp easily. Onto the top and down again. Back up and back down. Well done, everyone. You built two perfect ramps. The truck can go up and down easily now. <laughs> oh, that was really clever, Bob. It was good ramp building, Lofty. Let's go back on site and see the car parks being used. Here's a car park all finished. Oh, it's not quite finished. It's still being painted. And the builders are still taking the scaffolding away too. Builders put scaffolding around a building when they're working on it so they can climb up and reach every part of it. But once they've finished, they take it away. There! That's our car park all finished. And here comes a car. It's got the whole car park to itself. It can park wherever it likes. What a big car park. Look at all the different places to park. So many cars will be able to come and stay here. Hundreds and hundreds. And all because everyone worked so hard and built it so well. That was great, Bob. I think we need a reminder of everything we've seen. Ready, Rolly? Lofty? Oh, yeah. Let's rock on, Bob. <laughs> Let's go on site. We're building, we're building all day long. On site, on site. Oh, yeah, all right. We build our buildings big and strong. A great big car park. Come and see the perfect place for cars to be. We build foundations first of all. Then lots of levels, really tall. On site, let's go on site. Big concrete ramps go up and down So all the cars can get around And now it's finished, it's the best The perfect place for cars to rest On site, on site, let's go on site We're building, we're building all day long On site, on site, oh yeah, all right We build our buildings big and strong ah. Well done, everyone. We found out a lot about car parks today, didn't we? That's right, Bob. Uh, Bob, all that learning about things has made me a bit tired. Me too. Whew. Let's get parked, Lofty. <laughs> I could do with the rest too. Thanks for coming on site with me today. And remember, next time you drive past a car park or a skyscraper, you'll know all about how it's built, won't you? See you next time.